are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you? Greta Thunberg called out world leaders at the UN for their inaction on the climate crisis. This is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in school on the other side of the ocean. Yet, you all come to us young people for hope. How dare you? Her supporters spread her passionate speech on social media, but the backlash was strong. Some asked. This is very, very wrong and disturbing too. Where are her parents? And compared her to horror movie characters. I, anyone else find that chilling? A time of tribulation has come. A test is at hand. The final test. The US president also added to the pylon. She seems like a very happy young girl looking forward to a bright and wonderful future. So nice to see. But these efforts to undermine Greta and the movement she started seem to be failing. They often come from people who have a history of climate denial. And activists say some critiques have an element of sexism about them. I think some people's unease with Greta Thunberg is that she rarely smiles. Girls and women are supposed to be smiley to put men at ease and appear emollient. And she's just not playing. For many, Greta is on the right side of history. The world is waking up. And change is coming whether you like it or not. And her supporters seem to be gaining strength. The very worst men on the internet are rightfully terrified of 16-year-old Greta Thunberg, and it is glorious. She has been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize and is part of a group of young people who went to the UN to accuse Argentina, Brazil, France, Germany and Turkey of violating the Convention on the Rights of the Child. The complaint is symbolic, but meant to pressure governments to reduce their environmental impacts and protect children's rights. China, the world's biggest polluter, has not ratified the treaty. The US hasn't even signed it. That may have been on Greta Thunberg's mind when she saw President Trump enter the room yesterday. And millions of people likely feel her frustration. Mm -hmm.